Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. It's time for another handgun showdown where the viewers of this channel decide which company makes the better handguns. Today it's Taurus versus Canik and I'm looking forward to getting into this. But before we do that, I have to report back the results from the last handgun showdown where we featured Six Hour versus Smith & Wesson. And by a landslide, I was actually shocked. I thought it would be closer than it was, but Smith & Wesson one big time and i think it was the revolver line that really took them over the top and well past sig sour but we've got a good one today taurus versus canic so let's get to it let's begin with taurus and we'll start with the new taurus g3 it very much mimics the taurus g2c except for it's larger Taurus is calling it a full-size handgun and it's a third generation so it does have some improvements it Offers three-finger contact on the grip. It has a four-inch barrel. Magazine that carries 15 and 17 rounds. Pick rail. Front serrations. It has adjustable or drift adjustable rear sights pinned in front sight. But one of the greatest improvements is the trigger. Now, I'm measuring it just under five pounds, but it has a larger trigger bar safety, much more comfortable, and a nice trigger pull. And the reset is right there for the follow-up shots i took it to the range i love it you know it, it has so many qualities to it at a budget price and many people do enjoy that thump safety there that they they consider the the new taurus g3 a phenomenal handgun and it is gaining popularity but not to be outdone the new taurus revolver it's a taurus tracker 692 and this is a multi-caliber which means it will shoot 38 special 357 magnum and nine millimeter you can see it has an unfluted cylinder there a three inch ported barrel and a ramped up front sight with an orange insert and the rear sight is adjustable now they make the same model with a six and a half inch barrel but this three inch barrel is fine for me a rubber grip a bit spongy on there and seven rounds in the cylinder what makes this attractive is that you can change out the cylinder just by pushing this button here pulling off the cylinder and then throwing in the nine millimeter cylinder which gives the the shooter many different calibers well three different calibers to choose from double action pretty standard and then the single action i'm measuring between six and well right around six pounds sometimes six and a quarter but a nice overbuilt revolver that i was super impressed with when i shot 357 magnum and it has gained like the g3 much popularity over the past couple months the canic tp9 line has grown substantially over the years and here is their newest release it's called the canic tp9 elite subcompact it is their smallest model and the tp9 line with a 3.6 inch barrel tungsten finish on the slide it offers an additional back strap a 12 and 15 round magazine for a full-size grip on the gun it is ambidextrous with the slide stop you can see that it is on both sides of the magazine release can be switched over making it left-handed friendly it's an optics ready model which a lot of shooters enjoy it does have a drift adjustable rear sight and a pinned in front sight front serrations and a striker fire indicator but what i really like is that trigger you can see it does have a trigger bar safety that is red but it breaks just under five pounds and here is the reset right there right out of the case i took it to the range it shot incredibly well i was just so impressed with it and a lot of people love canon can guns and i think that is why but the one gun that i own that offers more than any other gun that i've ever experienced is right here and it's the canic tp9 sfx their full-size competition model that offers so much in the case I, I won't even be able to get through it all but it also has a tungsten finish cutouts on the slide fiber optic front sight drift adjustable rear sight optic ready also includes four plates magazine release comes with different heights you could change that out they have them in the case 20 round magazines and a pick rail and a lot of other things both of these also come with holsters in the case all right so canic says with this gun you can hit the range immediately and compete with it without having to get anything else that you need and and i think that's true 
but what I really like also is the trigger. It breaks right around four pounds, and there is your reset. Check out that reset once again. Just an incredible handgun. I'm very much impressed with this. So which company do you feel makes the best handgun? Is it Taurus or is it Canik? Go ahead and leave comments below. I look forward to adding them all up, hearing what you guys have to say, and reporting the results with the next handgun showdown. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching, and you guys be safe.